a CD on your CD drive, uh, CDX would automatically detect the audio tracks here. But you have to also make sure that you go to the settings first and set the, ne the necessary uh, directories or files that you need. For example, on mine, I had it on the test music, everything. And of course, uh, you have to check on your uh, CD settings. But I probably suggest just change the files and directories. Now, once you're done, uh, you will have two choices on what to do. You can go ahead and select the whole track. And this might take time and then convert and extract to audio file called wave file and then you can also extract it as mp3 now this time i'm going to show you just to extract one single track and let's go ahead and extract this one and i'm going to extract it into a mp3 by uh, using the compress audio file all right right now it's extracting the file and let's see what will happen so um of course uh what i like with cdex is it can extract uh more faster than uh, the usual windows media player and at the same time you can add customization for it remember i did not indicate any artist here or title and even the genre and the year so everything will be unknown so just pure um, uh, extraction would do. But if you have, uh, if you want to customize, you can customize. You can add the artist name here, or and then the album album title. Uh, if you know the the genre, if it's a gospel or music or rock, or if you want uh, to indicate the year when it was published and composed, then it would be better. Okay, so I think. We're nearing to the completion, and let's check. Okay, there is, and then we will see a no artist here uh, folder because we didn't in indicated an artist, and of course no title for the album, and just the audio track. And to make sure, let's go ahead and run this on a Windows Media Player and let's try to make sure that the MP3 is working. So there you go.